Hello YouTube and welcome to Atheist Minority. For many of us, arriving at atheism has been a journey. For some, it's taken longer than others, but one thing we all tend to have in common is that we've had some stops along the way. Now, for me personally, I started out as a very devout Christian, and it took me about four years to get to the point where I considered myself to be an atheist. But it hasn't been that long that I've actually worn this label. Before I realized that I was an atheist, I was calling myself agnostic for quite a while. Now, I've seen some videos, I've read some articles that are directed at folks who call themselves agnostic. And you're pretty much telling these people, you're actually an atheist. Let's just Google the definition of agnostic and start there. Agnostic. Noun, a person who believes that nothing is known or can be known of the existence or nature of God. Okay, so here's where the controversy comes in. Agnostic is about knowledge, claiming that you don't have 100% knowledge when you say you're agnostic, whereas atheist is about belief in God. Basically, if you say you're atheist, you're claiming that you don't believe in God. There's really no term for a person who's kind of in the middle. So a lot of people who are in the middle call themselves agnostic because it's the closest definition that describes their point of view. I understand it's not technically correct, but it's the best thing they have and there's nothing wrong with that. Look, before I started calling myself atheist, I also use the term agnostic as a way to try to communicate to people how I feel about God. Now for me, when I was calling myself agnostic, I basically was trying to say I didn't know if God existed and I really didn't care. I didn't have any passionate feelings about it one way or another. I had already decided that religion was not for me, but I hadn't yet decided how I felt about whether or not God was real. So saying that I was agnostic felt like a perfect terminology for me. It was the best I had, but there's one thing that I can tell you for sure, and that is during the time when I was calling myself agnostic, the last thing that I wanted was for someone to tell me that that's not what I was. Do you guys remember Diana Nyad? A few months ago, she actually set records as a marathon swimmer for being the first person to swim from Cuba to Key West, Florida without a shark cage. Now, the amazing thing about Miss Nyad to me is that it took her five times to accomplish this goal, but she never gave up. And the other thing that I find absolutely wonderful is that she accomplished this at 64 years of age. Now, I don't know if you saw the interview that Miss Nyad did with Oprah, but during the interview, she expressed to Oprah that, first of all, she considers herself to be an atheist. She said this unequivocally. There is no doubt about it. Miss Nyad called herself an atheist very clearly during that interview. Then she went on to talk about how, even as an atheist, it doesn't prevent her from experiencing the most profound awe with the beauty and the wonder of the universe and how standing at the shoreline and looking out over the ocean is enough to bring her to tears. So then Oprah says to her, well, I don't consider you to be an atheist then. Wow, the gall, even I was offended by that. I'm sorry, but Oprah had no right to tell Miss Nyad that she's not an atheist. Diana Nyad clearly said, I am an atheist. This is how she chooses to identify herself and no one has the right to tell her anything differently. Or think about this. What about the people who say to you, well, you're an atheist, but atheism is a religion too. You know how off base they are by saying that and it probably even offends you a little bit. So let's not do the same thing to people who choose to call themselves agnostic. There are different shades of atheism. On the one end, you have atheists who admit the possibility that there could be a God. It's just that the evidence presented so far isn't sufficient and see no reason to believe that God exists. Then you have atheists on the other end who pretty much say, 
There is no God, and I really don't even need to admit the possibility that there is a God. He just doesn't exist, and that's fine too. All atheists don't have the same views, but that's actually one of the most beautiful things about being an atheist. Don't we call ourselves free thinkers? Let's stay true to that by not trying to force labels on anyone. The few labels that we have for our point of view don't accurately convey all of the various nuances. Some people are comfortable calling themselves atheists, and some people aren't for whatever reason. That's a personal choice, and it's fine. Think about this for a second. In my last video, I wore a t-shirt that said, Boycott SeaWorld Slavery. Now, let's say you looked at my video and you decided to do a little bit of research about SeaWorld because you weren't really sure what I was talking about. Now, let's say that your research appalled you. You could not believe the horrific treatment of these beautiful orcas by SeaWorld. And so you make the informed decision that you're going to boycott SeaWorld too. Now, let's say you come to me and you say, hey, AM, I am boycotting SeaWorld because I do not believe in what they're doing. I think it's horrible. They're mistreating these orcas, and I do not want to support that terrible establishment. And I'm going to say, yay, now we're all boycotting SeaWorld together. That's awesome because I do not support SeaWorld either, and I don't want any of you spending your money on SeaWorld and perpetuating the madness. Now let's pretend that a few months later you come to me and say, Hey Am, just got back from Six Flags and had a wonderful time. And I say, What? Excuse me? Six Flags? You shouldn't be going to Six Flags either. Because you know what? Six Flags is in bed with SeaWorld. There's really no difference. And then you're like, There's nothing wrong with Six Flags. I like roller coasters. Now, if I say that to you, I've kind of missed the point, right? My point in wearing that t-shirt was to get you to boycott SeaWorld. I have a problem with how SeaWorld mistreats these orcas, and I want to spread awareness about that, and I want people to no longer support SeaWorld. That's the goal. If you decided that you like roller coasters, and you still want to go to Six Flags, that really has nothing to do with me. If we're not going to SeaWorld, we've done what we set out to do. That person who's going to Six Flags would still stand on the boycott SeaWorld picket line with you and fight for the cause. That's what matters. I have a problem with religion because religion is detrimental. It's harmful to society. It oppresses people and it prevents the notion of being able to think for yourself. You have to lie to yourself and perform what I call mental gymnastics all the time in order to hold fast to a particular religion. It takes people and it causes them to sometimes judge others for how they live their lives and stand in the way of other people's happiness and I just think that's wrong. Now if you are also of the same opinion and you are not a religious person or you used to be and you decide to turn away from your religion, then we are on the same page. You know, us non-believers, our numbers are too small to have this divisiveness over titles and what people choose to call themselves. Agnostics and atheists, we have many of the same concerns, we face the same issues, we have the same challenges in our personal lives. We should stick together. I just want people to break free from the chains of religious dogma. However they choose to do so is a step in the right direction. Whatever they choose to call themselves along the way, I'm fine with that. Consider what's really important. Is it the label or the sentiment? I'm not trying to recruit anyone into atheism. If a person finds their own way here, that's wonderful, and I think we should welcome them with open arms. But if a person is reluctant to call themselves an atheist for whatever reason, we should be fine with that and we should actually embrace them too. I know atheists are small in number and we feel passionate a lot of times and we want other people to maybe open their minds to a different way of looking at things, but it's okay that we're small in number. There's actually pride in that. Let's just keep doing what we're doing and trying to spread the word and hope that something that we say can plant a seed along the way. I'm all about peace, tolerance, and respect. 
And one of the most sincere ways to demonstrate that is to let a person be who they want to be. Thanks for watching. Peace. Father, Father, we don't need to escalate.